Hey everyone, in the previous video we learned how to create a single person talking avatar using Multitalk. In this video, we'll learn how to create two people having a conversation using Multitalk. So, use your favorite image generation tool and create an image with two people in it. I've already created one, so I'll be using that. Also, I'll be using the 480p version of Multitalk. If you prefer 720p, you can use that. So let's begin. First, let's select an image of two people. Let's select this image and click open. Now, scroll down again and click on the drop down menu under voices. Here, we have three options related to two people talking. One is auto separation of speakers. If you use that option, you need to provide an audio file containing two voices and WAN GP will separate the voices for the two people. However, for me, it didn't work. I was getting out of memory issues. So, I will show you how to use the other two options. Speakers audio sources are assumed to be played in a row and speakers audio sources are assumed to be played in parallel. Let's select the row option and see how to use it. Here, we need to provide two separate audio files, each containing the voice for one person. When the row option is selected, these audios are played sequentially. So, according to a sample script I created, I first need to select an audio containing only a woman's voice. Let's select that audio now. Next, I need to select an audio containing a man's voice, so I'm going to select that. After loading the audios, here's how it works. The audio containing the woman's voice will be used first, followed by the audio containing the man's voice. And also adding some silence at first audio usually helps with lip syncing. Next, under speakers locations, we need to specify the locations of the speakers or persons within the loaded image. We do this using their bounding box or B box values. First, I clear any existing values in this field, and then we find the B box for both individuals. So, I scroll up and navigate to the Video Mask Creator tab. Then, I click on the image section, select, and upload the same image I am using with Multi Talk. Once uploaded, I click Load Image. Now, I click on the woman in the image. After that, I click on Add Mask, once mask added. Then, I click on Image Matting. Then, I scroll down and we can see the B box values for the woman. I copy these values to a notepad and label them woman for easy identification later. Next, we find the man's B-box values. First, I click Clear Clicks. Then, I expand Matt Anyone settings and remove the current mask. I click on the man's face, clicking again if necessary, until I get a perfect outline of him. Then, I click Add Mask. A new mask is added. I click on Image Matting again. Then I wait a moment, then scroll down and now we can see his B-box values. I copy these to my notepad and label them man. Once I have both persons B box values, we return to the video generator tab. I go to the speaker's locations field. So, according to my script, the woman talks first. So I paste her B box values here. Then, I add a space, and after that, copy and paste the man's B box values next to it. And in case you want to reverse the roles, Simply reverse the order of the B box values. This means putting the last person's B box values first. Next, let's add some text to the prompt. I'm going to type, a woman asking about weekend plans, the man replies, that's enough for now. Next, we can choose the resolution. I will be using the 480p version because I am also using the 480p version of multi-talk. Additionally, if you prefer a vertical video resolution, you can choose it here. Now, we need to set the length of our output video. For this, we need to calculate the frame count from the total length of our provided audios. Since we are using the row option, we need to add the lengths of both audios. One audio is three seconds and the other is four seconds. When we add both numbers, we get seven. Then, we'll add one extra second, making it eight seconds. Finally, we multiply this by 25, which gives us 200. Let's quickly verify this with the calculator, yes, our multiplication is correct. So in the number of frames field, let's type 200. For inference steps, let's type eight because we are using Fusion X. Then go to the advanced mode. For seed, we will use minus one, which means a random seed value will be used in each generation. For guidance, we are going to use one, audio guidance will be four, and shift scale will be two. The sampler solver we are going to use is UniPC. Then, go to the LoRa's section. Choose Fusion X LoRa. 
For the sliding window size, I will be using 81. Finally, let's scroll up and click on Generate, then Wait. As you know, guys, videos that are longer than the sliding window size are generated in parts, and then WAN GP combines them. So, the first part has finished generating. Let's play the video and check for any syncing issues. So, any exciting plans for the weekend coming up? Thank you. As you can see, there are some problems with the lip syncing, so let's see if we can fix that. First, I'll scroll down and go to the advanced mode. I'll increase the value of audio guidance to 5. Then, let's click on the generate button again and wait. So guys, the generation has finished. Let's play the video to see the result. So, any exciting plans for the weekend coming up? Thinking about heading up to the mountains? Maybe do some hiking if the weather holds. As you can see, MultiTalk did a good job. Now, let's move on to the parallel option in WAN GP. So, let's remove the currently loaded image and load another image. Now, scroll down and under Voices, click on the drop-down menu. Select the last option, which is speakers' audio sources are assumed to be played in parallel. So this option is very useful for conversations where a back-and-forth exchange is happening between two speakers. It's crucial to remember that for the parallel option, you'll need to manually prepare your individual audio tracks for each speaker, cutting them and adding silences as necessary, so that both tracks have the exact same total length with their speech aligned correctly. For that, you can use your favorite audio editing tools. Right now, I will show how to do it using Resolve. Let's create a new project by clicking on New Project and naming it Jacket. Now, I import the audios where two persons are having a conversation. Then, I select all the audios and place them on the timeline. So, right now, Everything is in order according to my script. Now let's zoom the timeline. I select all the audios and move them slightly to the right. This adds some silence at the beginning. Let's play it. Wow, that's a sharp jacket. Wow, that's a Wow, that's a It looks like I need more silence, so I move them a bit further. Let's play wow. it again. Wow, that's a sharp jacket. New? Thanks. Just picked it up. Thought it was time for a change. It suits you. Really good choice. Now it looks good. Next, we need to separate the voices. I move the man's voice to the second track. Then, I export the first audio track by muting the second audio track. So, I go to the Deliver page. Then, look for and select the Audio Only option. I'll name this audio File Woman Speaking. Then, I select the Export Location. I am going to export my audio to the Music folder. I click Save. Then, we can choose the audio format. I will be using Wave. After that, I click Add to Render Queue, then click Render All. That's it, it's finished. Now, let's export the man's voice separately. I go to the Fairlight page. Then, I unmute the second audio track and mute the first track. Then, I go to the Deliver page and give it a file name. I'm going to call it Man Speaking. Then, I click Add to Render Queue. I select the new job and click Render. That's it, it is finished. Now we don't need Resolve anymore, so let's close it. I go back to the WAN GP tool. Under Voice to Follow, I remove the previous audio. Then, I select the woman's audio we just exported from Resolve. Now, I remove the other audio from Voice to Follow number 2. Then, I select the man's audio we just exported from Resolve. As you can see here, both audios have the same length and correct silences as well. So next, we need to specify both speakers' or persons' locations by using B-box values. Just like before, we need to find the B-box values of both persons. I scroll up and go to the Video Mask Creator tab. Then, I scroll down and remove the previous image and load the current image we are using with multi-talk. Then, I click on Load Image. First, let's find the woman's B-box values. So, I click on the woman's face. Then, I click on Add Mask. After the new mask is added, I click on Image Matting. Now, if I scroll down, we can see the B-box values. I copy that to the notepad and name it Woman. Then, I click on Clear Clicks. After that, I remove the current mask. Then, I click on the man's face. I click again on other parts of him so that we get a perfect mask of him. Then, I click on Add Mask. After that, I click on Image Matting. Now, if I scroll down, we can see his B-box values. I copy that to the notepad and name it Man. Then, I move back to the Video Generator tab. 
I scroll down to the speaker's locations field. So, according to the script, the woman should talk first, so I copy her B-box values from the notepad to here. Then, I put a space, and then I copy and paste the man's B-box value. Next, let's change the prompt to a woman talking about the jacket a man is wearing. Now, we need to set the number of frames. Since we are using the parallel option, we don't need to add both audio lengths together as we did before. Both audios we are using have the same length, which is 9 seconds. We add 1 second to that, so it becomes 10. Then, we multiply it by 25 frames per second, and we get 250. So, I type 250 in the field. We can confirm it by using the calculator yes. It is correct. For inference steps and other settings below, we can use the previous values, so we don't need to change them. So, let's generate the video and see the result. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's play the video. Wow, that's a sharp jacket. New? Thanks. Just picked it up. Thought it was time for a change. It suits you. Really good choice. As you can see, it's a good result. So that's it, guys. Now, as I said before, if you want to reverse roles, just reverse the order of the B-box values. Also, if you are having any color tone consistency issues, you may try lowering the audio guidance value. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.